The next question. My name is Fahim Muntasir from Bangladesh, city Silat. My question is, if a person is good throughout his or her life, but does not believe in God, will he or she go to hell? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in Deena in the Allah Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah, it is Islam. So the criteria for entering Jannah is you have to believe in one God alone and you do not have to associate any partners with him and believe in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now, as you said in a question, that if the person is good and if he does not believe in God, so will he go to hell? I would like to give you a simple example. There is a person who says that he is the best employee of a company. He is the most obedient. But when you ask this employee, who is your boss? So he says, I don't know my boss. I don't know his name. Do you think this person is the best employee? Do you think he is obedient to his boss? But naturally, no. He does not even know his boss. How can he be called the best employee? How can he be the most obedient? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has given you shelter. He has given you food. He has given you water. He has given you air. If you do not get water for a few days, you will die. If you do not get air for a couple of hours, you will die. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking us, to worship him alone without associating partners with him and to follow his commandments. So a person cannot be called good if he does not recognize his creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first thing that you need to do or to attain goodness is recognizing your creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given you all the blessings in this world. He has given you the eyes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, did he ever charge you for the eyesight? Did he ever charge you for the air that you breathe? All of it is free of cost. He is the only one who is worthy and deserving of worship. He is the one who deserves to be worshipped. And many people, they say that if you give charity, it is good. If you do other good deeds, it is good. All these things, they are good, giving charity, helping others, helping your neighbors. But all these things, they are secondary. The first thing is recognizing your creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even these good deeds, if you do them for show off, it is of no use. If you help the poor, the needy, just to show off, just to show it to the people that you are wealthy, it is of no use. And the criteria for success is mentioned in the glorious Quran in Surah Al Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3. Wal Asr, by time, inna al insana lafi khusr. Verily, man is in a state of loss. Illa ladina amanu, except for those who believe, wa amilu salihat, and do righteous deeds, wa tawasaw bil haq. Exhort people towards truth that is doing dawah, wa tawasaw bil sabr. Exhort people towards patience and perseverance. There are minimum four criteria for a person to enter Jannah. The first is Iman, that is belief. The second is Amal Salihat, that is righteous deeds. The third is exhorting people towards truth, that is doing Dawah. And the fourth is exhorting people towards patience and perseverance. These are minimum four criteria for a person to enter Jannah. If any one of them is missing, under normal circumstances, a person, he will not enter Jannah. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to forgive you, it is his prerogative. But in normal circumstances, a person, he will not enter Jannah. And I would like to give you a simple example. If you appear for an examination, for example, the 10th grade, there are certain subjects that you need to pass in. Even if you get 99 marks in all the subjects, but in one of these five subjects, if you fail, you will not pass the 10th grade. Similarly, for you to enter Jannah, you have to believe in one God alone and you have to believe in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.